everybody. What's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today I'm bringing you the fourth online robot game competition that we've had. So it's going to be exciting because it's been a while since we've had that third competition. So today we're going to be starting the fourth online robot game competition called The Load of Code. So what I did is I kind of took the theme that's going to be coming up for this next FLL season called Cargo Connect. And I wanted the theme to kind of be similar. So it's going to be related to cargo and shipment and freight. And it's just going to be our little twist on that theme. So if you want to see everything that's going to go on with this competition, stay with me. He now Lego Robotics. Oh, yeah. So in this video, I'm going to basically lay down what the ground rules are, the requirements, what you're going to need, and just the rules for mission number one. So I'm very excited because as of the recording of today, I put out a message on my community tab in my on my channel. And I just asked who might be interested in participating. And a whopping 40 of you said or replied and 60% of you said you could participate. So it blew my mind thinking 24 people could possibly participate because in the past we haven't had numbers that big. So we're hitting summer here. So maybe people are just becoming available. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get 24 people, but it's just exciting to know that that many people responded. So it's going to be possible. So today I'm just excited to get everything rolling. So you might be asking, Mr. Hino, what do I need to participate? So you can use any of the Lego kits, the EV3, the Spike Prime, the inventor kit, you know what would be cool is to see somebody with an NXT. I know there's somebody out there with an NXT. And to participate, all you need to be able to do is follow along with the mission and send in a video that you completed mission number one or mission number five. It doesn't really matter. Um, and you can quit anytime you want. As long as you get points, you'll still be on the leaderboard. So today, as I get ready to show you mission number one, you're gonna see that I use mission model mats. They're actually just pieces of paper. And I don't want you to feel like you have to print those out to be able to participate. I'll show you how you can modify it so that way you can still compete and participate even though you don't print out these papers. Because I get it, some of you might not have paper, some of you might not have the printer or the ink, and I get where you might be in that situation. So the ultimate goal is just to have fun with this. But for those of you that are super competitive, obviously the goal is going to be to win. So there's going to be a total of six missions, and you're just trying to get the most points you can. And I'll be updating this every week as we go along just to let you know where you stand. So here's how this is going to work. Today is the 23rd, so I'm going to be showing you mission number one. Friday, I'm going to be showing you mission number two. And so next week, I'm going to do the same thing until I've given you six missions. And every day that I have a video, I'm going to update you on the leaderboard. So hopefully on Friday, I can update you on who did what mission and how many points they got from today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to mission number one. Okay, so here's what I mean by sometimes things just mess up. I try to print off the starting mat here and mission number one mat and the color of the ocean did not even come out. I don't even know what happened with my printer. But anyway, this is going to be the starting mat. And no, you don't even need to print the starting mat. But if you need it, go ahead and check the description. The link to the starting mat will be there. But if you just have a piece of paper, this is fine. This is a regular eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. And so is this one here. And where I put the ship for mission number one, you can kind of just guesstimate where it's going to be. So the only thing you need to really be uh, mindful of is that the starting mat and mission number one mat is going to be exactly 12 inches apart. Now, obviously, if you want to make this farther, you can. Just don't make it closer. You can have it be exactly 12 inches, but, you know, if you had it farther, we don't care. Just don't make it closer. So on this particular mission here, this mission number one is going to be called load the ship so here is going to be i tried to make this standard for all of the kits i know all of the kits ev3 spike prime and inventor have at least two picture frames 
So you're just going to have two picture frames put together with connectors. You can choose how many connectors you want. And you're going to put your ship right on the picture. And so here is all you do for mission number one. We try to make mission number one as easy as we can get it. And then it will slowly start to get more difficult. So you're going to get as many gears as you can, but try to only get one of each type of gear. So if you have, you know, three of these small gears right here, you're only going to be able to use one. And you might in this particular mission do better if you choose the smaller gears, but hey, for some of you, you might do better with the bigger gears. So you're going to, sorry, I didn't have a fifth one. I Maybe I just didn't look good enough, but you can use up to five gears out of your kit, whatever kit you're going to use. And they're going to be with your robot here on the starting mat. And you just have one job. And you can do this in one try, or you can do this in as many tries as you want. <clears throat> you're going to be taking these gears, and you're going to be placing them inside of the ship. And like I said, you don't need to do that all in one try. You can do that in five tries if you want. And then your ultimate goal is to be able to bring the ship without letting the gears fall out completely back into base. And at the very end, if you can, either before or after you return back to base, you're just going to show us that you brought the five gears. Now, do you have to take five? No, you can take two if you want but you will end up getting 10 points per gear. So however many gears you can get to fit inside of this ship, the better. And so 10 points a gear, no matter what size they are, you're gonna get 10 points for each gear. And again, the maximum is gonna be five gears. So yes, there's gonna be a uh, limit of 50 points for this mission. Now, and before, we used to give you 20 points for returning back to the map. But this one here, your robot has to come back to the map. So we're not going to give you that 20 points. You're just going to get the 10 points per gear. And that is going to be called mission number one, load the ship. Okay, let's go over the ground rules for the starting map. When you start a mission, your robot has to be completely on the map. Now, can you be behind it? Yes but your robot cannot start um, off the mat. So this would be good. This would not be good. So any part of your robot cannot be off the starting mat. Make sure that your robot is completely on. And when you return, whatever you're bringing back to the mat needs to make sure that your robot is completely behind the edge of this starting mat. So when you return, make sure you're completely on or behind the mat when you finish. And other than mission number one, you will get 20 extra points if your robot is completely in or behind the mat when you return. Okay, guys, so that's it. That's all you have to do is complete that first mission, load the ship. And so here's how you prove that you completed mission number one. All you need to do is just record your mission with some type of recording device, whether that's a phone, a video camera, GoPro, whatever that is. And then you're just sending me just that video of your robot completing the mission. So you don't need to explain anything and you don't have to you know, do any other fancy things. Just show your robot completing the mission. And again, for mission number one, just show the amount of gears that you use so that I'm able to count and give you those 10 points per gear. So all you do is shoot your video, make sure it's legit and your robot did everything it's supposed to, it's, it's in base. And then you're gonna go ahead and send your video to me at Hino Lego Robotics at gmail.com. And so what I'm gonna do is take all the videos that come in. So today is Wednesday. I hope to show you guys on Friday the video of everybody completing mission number one. And don't worry, let's say that you don't finish mission one by Friday. My plan is to show any other mission number ones on any of the other days. 
So if you finish number, you know, mission number one on Saturday, I'll try to get your video on the Wednesday, the week after. So it's just going to be a fun time of us all trying to compete and get the most points. What I really love about this competition is being able to see the different ways that people built their robot, the different ways that people completed the mission. And you guys know when you guys go to first Lego League competitions, it's just really neat to watch and see the different ways people do things because that's, you know, the uniqueness about this competition. So again, everybody, we're starting mission one today. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to wait too long to get started because if you do, it's just really hard to get caught up. It's just one of those things. And we're going to go ahead and just make this, you know, again, we're going to, I'm going to do two videos a week just to show you what the missions are and show you how people did. So it's going to be a, just a Wednesday, Friday, Wednesday, Friday. So just Wednesday, Friday for the next three weeks. And eventually I'll go ahead and update you on the final day that you can turn in any videos, but we'll wait and see how things go. I just want to get you guys started right now. And I'm just excited to see how many of you are going to participate. So today, again, we're starting the load of code and you're getting mission number one, the, you know, return the, or you're loading the ship and returning all of those gears back to base. Okay, guys. So again, don't forget to send your video to me, Kino Lego Robotics at gmail.com. And I'm just excited and can't wait to see how you guys are going to get this mission one done. Okay. So be ready for Friday to see all the new mission number two and then to see anybody who might have completed mission one by, you know, you know, Wednesday today or Thursday. All right, guys. All right. Good luck to you. Let me know in the, you know, um, discussion if you have any questions and I'll answer any of your questions. Okay, guys. Good luck. I am Mr. Hino from Machines Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.